Hi there, it's Dr. Scott McLean and today we'll be talking about the N1 Prosthetic Pure Set Kit. So it's a prosthetic kit and on this kit we'll be talking about two main drivers. One is the OmniGrip Mini and the other is the Base Driver. These are the main drivers that you'd use when using the N1 Dental Implant from Novell Biocare. Now looking at the OmniGrip Mini, it's on the kit shown here in the red. You can see this is a gold driver with a black line on it. Looks very close to the OmniGrip screwdriver, but this is an OmniGrip Mini, so you're able to make a smaller screw. It's mostly used for prosthetics. Now, on the other side of things, the surgeon often would use this, which is a base driver, and it's tightened down to 20 newtons, and the base driver is what you put the base on with. So you would take this base driver, screw the base on at the time of surgery, and then all the work will be done on the prosthetics at the base level. So you can do the work either at the implant level or at the base level for this implant system. And we'll be talking about that and we'll give you a little quiz. Now on the PureSec kit, we also have the OmniGrip driver, which is used for conical connection angulated screw channels. And then we also have the UniGrip driver, which is used on more traditional healing abutments and uh, also on some of the systems prior to the conical connection. Then we have the multi-unit driver, which is often used in all-in-four, but you do have to use uh, some of the new drivers for all-in-four on N1. And so let's have a look at the quiz. Now going through this quiz, you want to know what you found out about this system. So what is this? Correct, it's an N1 zeal base. So you can either have it at the implant level, the prosthetic crown, or at the zeal base level. If you're going to do it at the zeal base level, you have to use a driver. So which driver would you use? Correct. It is the base driver at 20 newtons torque. So this is uh, very good. Good job so far. So 20 newtons. Now, which driver would you use for this system? This is the cover screw, also the healing abutment, on top of the base and also the iOS. And correct, we would use the OmniGrip Mini. So very good, you're just doing so amazing, keep it up. And which driver would you use on this one? We can see it's a, a crown, which is implant level. So it's something that you have to think about, what would it be? Yes, correct, it's the OmniGrip Mini. Most of the system is using the OmniGrip Mini at the um, level of tightening down crowns. So think about that, or bridges. So what is this? We can see that in which driver will we use. So this is a zeal base on an implant, the N1 implant, or Thai Ultra implant. And which driver will we use? We would use the base driver. So the surgeon would place this on and he, and she, he or she would tighten down the, this to 20 newtons. Now I have to ask you what type of N1 crown is this? Is it implant level or base? Correct, it's base. This is an angulated screw channel on the base. So the surgeon placed the base and then the prosthetic doctor would then go back in and create a zirconia crown with an angled screw channel. So this is one of my favorite options for doing this. So now, what type of driver will we use here? Correct. So the OmniGrip mini screw, especially the driver, is what you use to tighten most things down, whether it's going to be on multi-unit screws, on top of zirconia bridges or on these uh, angulated screw channels sitting on the base or even on the implant itself. The screws are different, but the OmniGrip Mini is the screwdriver that you would go to. Okay, now your last question. We have OmniGrip and OmniGrip Mini. What color is the OmniGrip Mini screwdriver? Correct, you did it. You made it to the end of the quiz. Congratulations, you're a Nobel Prize winner. And uh, sorry, we can't give you the million dollar prize, but hope you enjoyed this and I hope this helps you. So this has been Dr. Scott McLean and this has been a presentation about the N1 dental implant.